You see, so that's what the towns are about. That's when he passed that tree. It wasn't produ reproducing fruit. That's what that whole thing was about. It was so that it was cursed it was because cursed. it wasn't reproducing the talents. When they took the talents from the master out, they reproduced five, ten, hundredfold. You see, uh -huh. and when you take the word of Christ and you add become the word of Christ that okay. Jesus Christ came and taught, then you will reproduce those fruits. And that's what Christianity is all about. And when you reproduce those fruits, what happens to your life? Well, it's so that your joy may be full. Because mm -hmm. once you reproduce something in your life that you saw was it happening in Christ, yes. oh, you're like, oh my gosh, yes. wow, look at this. Woo, look at, wow, there you, go. Go. you see what I'm saying? Amen. And that's what it's all about. Amen. Now, that's when right. you're not reproducing those fruits, then what happens to your faith? Well, then you die. Yeah, you do. And then you're going to you fall into stuff like vine. you're going to fall into stuff just like this person who I talked about right. having in the beginning. Exactly. Oh well, I had my experience with God, but I found out that meditation was just as good. There you I could go. obtain the same you kind of feeling. I could obtain the same kind of feelings just through meditating. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. that means they're dead. Why? Because those they never received the gift. You see what I'm saying? Yes. They heard about the gift. They heard, they saw the things that they could do, and they said, okay, yes. that's great. And then they went off on their own merry way, just like the person with one talent. They right. hid it in the sand, they didn't do anything with it, didn't seek after it, didn't try to reproduce it, and so they lost their faith. Yeah. And so that's the difference between Paul, who said, if you taste the heavenly gift, right. and you get all these things, you will never fall away. Because they reproduce in you more life. Right. Now, if there's no life being reproduced in you because of this then you'll gift, fall away. then what's going to happen to you? You're, You're dead. Die. You're yeah. already dead. Your works are already worthless. That's what we've been trying to say. Your thoughts are already worthless. The only good thoughts that you can have are these thoughts that Christ came to give us. Good. Because they reproduce life. All of our thoughts, as we're seeing now, all every day, all around us, only reproduce more death. Right. And the more we continue on this kind of path, the more death it's going to reproduce till we're all dead. And then it ain't nothing but a pile of rubble. And then what is the earth and creation worth? Nothing but a pile of rubble. Mm -hmm. So if God created heavens and the earth and just sat back and had no, uh, nothing to do with his creation, didn't ever speak out of heaven again, didn't ever perform any miracles, didn't ever do anything, and just let evolution take its course, it wouldn't even be here. Then creation wouldn't even be here because it requires... That something of a life source <laughs> would be put into it. Yes, that's right. That is the purpose of all physics. Yeah. You see, you can't have a system that maintains energy right. unless energy is constantly put being into put into it. it. And life is energy. Yes. Okay, and that's basic physics. Yeah, now, that's good. Now, that's the way the creation is. You know, you can't have spiritual life or you can't reproduce more life unless... Life is given to you mm -hmm. from outside of you. Mm -hmm. There you go. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that's the gift. That's what Christ came to do. That's what God has been trying to do from the beginning. And But, if being a free will, we can reject it. That's the sad thing. We can say, no, we don't want to have anything to do with it. And that's what these cities did over here in Matthew 11, 20. Then began he to upbraid the cities where most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. Yeah. Now, what do they have to repent of? You have to repent of yourself. You see, that's back to Abel's sacrifice. Abel was sacrificing a life. He couldn't just stab himself and commit suicide in order to get close to God. But he gave the life of that lamb, you see, in order to show his love. He was sacrificing life. It is a parable of what would come with Christ. Christ was going to sacrifice his own life so that we could have life. You see, and that's what repentance is about. You have to sacrifice your own mind, your own heart, your own will, your own ideas, and then leave them behind so that you can obtain this higher life, will, mind of Christ and God, the Creator. You see? Now, all these works were done and they repented not. Even though he did all these works and performed all this stuff, wanted to give this gift to them, they said, just like we said about President Bush, going to a foreign country and rejecting the, pre the gift of a dignitary. <laughs> they didn't want to have anything to do with it. Why? Because of pride. <coughs> so, verse 21. Woe unto thee, Torazin, woe unto thee, Bethsaida, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, then they have repented long then they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes in repent and, and humility. They would have accepted the gift that I gave to you that you couldn't that you and your pride and arrogance rejected. Now but I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable 
for a retiree inside on at the day of judgment there for you. Mm -hmm. Because they're here, God came to them. It wasn't just God speaking through prophets exactly. and other men. Exactly. God came in the, in the flesh. flesh. Performing the miracles himself. I am. That's that. exactly right. Well, yeah. I am. So it's going to be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in their judgment than it will be for you. Now, yeah. and thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee have been done in Sodom, uh -huh. it would have remained unto this day. Sodom would have remained. Yeah. Now, but I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. Now at that same time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them and unto babes. babes. Uh -huh. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. That, that, that should be that way. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Now, there you there, go. that's what we're talking about. You can, can you have one thought to add a cubit unto your stature? Can you, by taking thought, add one cubit to your stature? So can you, by your own thoughts, understand God? Can you, by your own thoughts, uh, give yourself life? No. no none of those things. No. No man knoweth the Son but the Father. Can you understand Christ? Is there any way that you can understand Christ of your own self? Well, we see atheists trying to understand Christ all the time. Well, he's just a man. We see, you know, Muslims trying to understand Christ all the time. Well, he was just a great prophet. You see? Yeah. All these people taking their own thoughts to try to understand Christ. But you can only understand Christ if those thoughts come from outside of you mm -hmm. into your mind from the Father. Wow. From the energy giver. Now, but the but the uh, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, Absolutely. and to he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. So you can't, okay, now, let's get this straight. That's Neither knoweth any man the Father, exactly. save the Son. So no man knows the Father, mm -hmm. except Jesus Christ. That's what mm -hmm. Jesus said, and that you, no man has seen God at any time. And Amen. you can't know Jesus Christ, except the Father reveals him to you. Right. But nobody knows the Father, except Jesus Christ, the yeah. Creator, except Jesus Christ. Save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will Reveals reveal him. him to. Yeah. So you can't understand the Father except you understand Christ. Mm -hmm. Except that you understand what Christ was doing and the knowledge that he gave in all these parables and all his teachings that were on the earth. That he gave to the Son, except you understand what is recorded here by the disciples who followed after him and eventually understood him after the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Then you can't understand the Father except that you understand the Son. Yeah, you will right. never know God except you understand the Son of God exactly. who was Jesus Christ. Amen. And you can't understand Jesus Christ except the Father quickens you with the Holy Spirit to understand it. That's the only way you can understand Him. You cannot understand Jesus Christ except you are filled by the Holy Spirit which comes from the Father. Mm -hmm. Now, and you can't get that by yourself. It has to be given to you as a gift from the Father. From the Father, right? Amen. Right. And the Father Because none can come to the Son except the Father would draw it. And this is what Christianity is all about. That's Christianity right. is about all the works and all the crap that we do. Christianity is about that gift from the Father being given to you. You, through humility and repentance, receiving that gift so that He can get glory of it. And what is the gift? The gift is the knowledge of the Son. And except you get the knowledge of the Son, you will never understand the giver of the gift. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you unless you understand the giver of the gift, you will not know why you're here. Yeah. You will not understand what creation is all about. You will not understand anything about the future of creation and the earth, the heavens and the earth. Did now, you see ahead. this? This here, the master of the we wrote this 21 through there. You wrote and uh, read those words. And, uh, and this... This here God just rode through the streets <coughs> on an ass's coat. He didn't have any kind of a weapon. Had no kind of degrees or nothing. You see what I'm saying, Dan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what God required. Because these people were looking for a Caesar. Right, exactly. You see, to that overthrow you the Roman them Romans out of there, boy, <laughs> and kill every one of them. That's right. And just set them up there and give them. See, give them power and authority to rule the world in darkness. Mm -hmm. They didn't That's know how wanted. dark it was for them. They didn't know the, the darkness they was in mm -hmm. at this time. But we see it now what God was doing. Because right. he robbed them of every bit of that. 
He done give them that once. Mm -hmm. And what did they do with it? They had control of the whole world, see, under Solomon and all of them. They reigned. Mm -hmm. Well, what did they do with it? They, they squandered wouldn't obey it. God. That's they right. wouldn't be obedient to the word. They acted just like the rest of the world. And so look what's happening here. You see what I'm saying? Yep. That, that's good, ain't it? That's a good mm -hmm. revelation right there, yep. son. And uh, you can't know anything. Except I, I tell you, you're the Father really sent me, it. and except I show it to you, you ain't going to know nothing from now on. Right. See, he's going to get his reward this time. He's going to be acknowledged. It's how did he get acknowledged? acknowledged why in the name of Jesus. That's right. you got to have the name. Yes. It's yes. the only thing the Father is going to recognize. That's you right. got to have the name. When Jesus turns this kingdom unto God, the Father, you better have the name. <laughs> Now, so what do we get when we do all these works, though? we we got to meditate. Oh, God, i got to go meditate. Oh, man, it doesn't matter if it's carnal, fleshly, new age, don't want to have anything to do, you just want to be spiritual, but not have anything to do with God and Christ, or if it's religion, or if it's Buddhism, it doesn't matter what it is, but what do all the works do to you? They put this immense burden on you that you have to do this at certain times, or else you will not receive some kind of good... Report with God, blah, blah, blah. But well, what does Jesus say? At the end of all these things, he's trying to relate to all these cities and to the disciples and whoever's listening to him at this moment. He's trying to relate something here. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. They were tired of toiling and laboring. All The people were hated the law. They hated to have anything to do with God because of the law, because it was such a heavy burden on them. They couldn't even, they couldn't even breathe. It was choking them to death. Because if they didn't do all these certain things at certain times, in certain ways, they were going to get cursed. Yeah. And some powerful sickness and disease was going to come on them because God was going to judge them. Grrr, you know? So this is a heavy, huge burden. But Jesus said, no, this isn't what it's all about at all. He just told you what it's all about. It's very simple. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't even have to do anything. Mm -hmm. You see, right. that's it. You don't have to do anything but seek the giver. Of the gift. You just have to seek the gift. The gift is Jesus Christ, you see? All right, now, come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I and will I'll take you rest. rest. Take my yoke upon you, and mm -hmm. what? Learn of me. me. That's the only yoke that you have. That's the only, that's the only work that you have to obtain. That's like the only it. thing you have to do is to learn of Christ. Why? Right. Why? Not, not because, you know, if you don't, you're going to go to hell. That's not why you need to learn of Christ. The reason you need to learn of Christ is so that you can have life. Mm -hmm. Hell exactly. is death. Hell That's death. right. Hell so is you death. ain't got life, where now, are you going? No, you, hell is your own consequence. It's not something God's going to send you to. You're going no, to receive you're hell. you go there because... Because right. you did not seek the gift. Amen. Of, of life. life. Eternal life. You were too proud to receive the gift. I like to put by it. By the Creator who wanted to give it to you. And you rejected it. Yep. That's exactly. why you're going to go to hell. That's right. It's not because, you know, God's uh, this evil God who, who loves to murder people and everything else. He gave right. you the gift. He, He's given it to you for thousands the of years. World. For God so loved the whole <coughs> world that he gave his only begotten son, which is the gift of life. To we whoever. should not perish. But have ever. But have whoever would believe upon him. Have eternal life. See, yes. there you got, you got to use the word because the life, that's what they say about, uh, see, they believed in life. They believed in God, but they just didn't believe in this kid that come. They rejected the gift. The from eternal the life. Of the creator. See, that's that's what Jesus come to bring us. See, we had life. And we throw it away, just like the Jews. That's what the Jews are all about. They set the example of the world. God used them. Mm -hmm. So what we do with our usage of God, we throw it away. We spit on it. We looked on it as nothing. It had been fragmented in the beginning, so God just overcome the whole thing. He said, well, bless God, if people really want me, I'm going to give them a chance to know me. Mm -hmm. And so he created a whole new life. It was eternal. Ain't nothing against it. You see, nothing can come against it. The devil can't come against it. 